bad as usual. Nokia covered this in their signature rubber crap that is super sticky. Ooh, it's Snake 3, the less desirable snake. Charges. You either love them, or don't pay that much attention to them. Some are old, like this Apple 30 pin connector. And some are generic, like this micro USB cable I got at the Dollar Tree. Here's a USB-C cable I also got from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, chargers are used to charge devices, big deal. But we're not talking about the charging cables today. Today we're talking about the chunky brick boys and other stuff. Like this Samsung brick. We'll start after I get everything together. We'll start out with this Samsung brick. It's an average brick, it looks very similar to the Samsung fast charge brick, except that this one is smaller. It's a basic 5 volt USB charger. And it also has the normal American plug. Up next, we have this LG brick. It's pretty boring looking. It was the USB port on the side, it is not pleasant to look at. Again, this is your basic 5 volt charger. This thing would have come with the slidey boy if he was brand new. Next up, we have a fairly new Apple USB-C brick. It is pretty chunky. But, it is 20 watts, so that's good. So yeah, Apple products are getting bigger and thicker, which is a good thing. Now, we have this weird boy. And, of course it's made by ZTE, because ZTE makes everything weird, like, what is the point of making it look like this? I mean yeah, it probably saves space, but it still looks weird. Under this weirdness though, it's still a basic 5 volt USB brick. Next, we have this old Apple boy. This is one of Apple's original charging bricks. It looks strange compared to today's standards. Also, not a lot of companies do the flip out wall plug anymore. At least this one is 10 watts instead of the usual 5 volts. And listen to that satisfying sound. We also have a few cables, like this purple ox cable. I'm trying to show you the logo on it because it's made by Dynex, which was the company that made one of my monitors that I got rid of. I hope you can see that logo. We also have ourselves a USB extension cord. These are very useful for extending charging cord length. It's made by Logitech, which is a bit unusual. They're usually known for making computer mice, not things that usually get charged. Whatever, still cool though. I also got some cell phones, like this Nokia flip phone. It was a button to open it, so you know it's trying to be fancy, and as usual, Nokia covered this in their signature rubber crap that is super sticky. Let's see if this boy turns on. You love to hear that sound. Is there snake on here? Ooh, it's snake 3, the less desirable snake. Whatever, let's give it a go. Yeah, response time is non-existent. Also, Snake 3 is ugly.
so yeah, this was a pretty nice find. It even has a camera that probably sucks. Up next, we have a Samsung Slidey Boy. Let's see if this boy also turns on. I've never heard of this service provider in my life. Ugh. Insert SIM card. I hate when phones do this. And I've never heard of this provider, so I probably don't have a card for it. That was for nothing. Let's close it back up. What? Um, hello. Next, we have this big boy. Now, you may be thinking it looks like an extremely oversized bootleg iPod. And, you are partially correct. Except that this big boy can access TV channels. It also has this antenna to get better reception. See, look at that. Oh, that lasted long. Let's try this again. Come on Supersonic, I believe in you. Oh, that's why it turned off, it is pretty much dead. We'll just let him die a peaceful death. So yeah, this boy is pretty cool. You can put music on here, games, and all sorts of stuff. It has an SD card slot for doing just that. It also charges via an old Nokia charger. Different models use the mini USB port, but not this one. I think this is pretty handy to have. Next up, we have this tall boy. Lots of people know what this is. It's just your basic smart calculator. It's got an LCD screen. It even has different apps on it. This one doesn't seem to load. It also does normal calculator functions, like multiplying stuff. This thing is pretty cool, because it probably is as smart as that Nokia that we talked about earlier. It's made by Texas Instruments, they seem to make all calculators anyways. So yeah, way better than any of those normal calculators, although, more confusing than a normal calculator. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that Snake 3 sucks. Also, Snake 3 is ugly. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.